So having run the numbers, what we can then do is move into uh, a ducting program. What I'll do, I'll run some duct work first of all. So if we go into the ducting program, it'll just update the calculation for us because we made one or two changes. Um, this is where we can fill out our general information where we decide on our supply and or extract, our calculation method, any static regain and any leakage rates as the standard percentages of the DW144 rates. I can create a series of duct groups. So what I'm going to do is create a, a main run and I want to make my main run effectively circular. I can impose velocity restrictions, preferred classes of insulation and duct and preferred bend types as well. The next option open to me is the basis of the calculation. I might want to base that on cooling or heating if it's an all-air system. Air changes would allow me to stipulate the extract rate or supply rate to a room in terms of air changes an hour or I could base that on fresh air for occupancy. So if we're providing air to these spaces for occupancy as a minimum fresh air requirement we'll go with fresh air. We can if we wish fix our grill sizes. The program will size the next size for you if you don't put these sizes in and also we can put a pressure drop across the grill. What I can then do is insert, decide what I'm doing supply or an extract system, in this case a supply system, and I'm going to subdivide the flurry equally amongst the number of grills in the space. And then I can place my grills next room, put the next grills in, into the next space. I might actually want to change that riser from a, a, a circular to a rectangular piece of duct. So what I can actually do is go and create more duct groups. So if I wish I can go in and into the duct groups, create a new one, and I'm going to make that rectangular. What I can then do is double click on that, change its duct group. There are many shapes and sizes of rectangular duct in the duct database. If I run a calculation and I'm not happy with the size it's given me, I can make a change. So I could look at changing that 300 by 250, bearing in mind I'm connecting onto 280 diameter. So what I could do is look at the results of that piece of duct. That gives me a velocity of four and a half meters per second. I might actually wish to change that size. So if I double click on that, I can then go and fix it. And let's make it a 300 square. Calculate, run the results. So we've effectively sized our run of duct all the way down to our plant room.